Oopsies. My bad. Oh. Rest in peace. Tulip flung that thing. Everybody, welcome back to another video today we're going to be playing unbridled that horse game and this is test phase seven now this is for patreons only and i've been supporting them for a while now and i just haven't had time to actually download the game and play it so here we are we're ready to go and i have played this once before so if you want to go watch that video before watching this one that would probably help a lot so this is test phase seven i haven't played any of the other test phases except for one of the first demos they released the last time i played the game was like early demo so I don't want to judge it all that way. I'm just going to be playing for fun. I'm just going to be noting what I see and we're going to be having some fun. I know there's a way to change the first person. Oh, character customizer tab. Oh, that makes a lot of sense. I want to make my character blue. I want to make her smurf, please. The one thing that I was pretty surprised by in this game, especially just for an equestrian game in general or a horse-based game, is the customization range. You have all of these areas. I mean, you have weight, you have muscle, and I'm not going to try to compare it to other games because I feel like every other game has different customization standards. But the fact that this game isn't even completely released yet and it has this type of customization and it has this variety of customization is already so exciting for me to experience personally and I'm sure it's going to be exciting for everyone else when it comes out or those who have already been playing the demo. Even just the general body customization is impressive by itself. Like if we didn't have the customization for nose, eyes, mouth, jaw, eyebrows and stuff like that, and we just had light customization kind of like other games where you have basic general customization and we just had the body, I would be impressed as it is. But the fact that we have all of the other ones as well, it's just, it's really nice. And then also a fangirl moment for the difference between the weight and the curve. I feel like a lot of games, just the weight is the curve. Even if you make a character on a larger scale, you can still adjust their curve. And I, I think that's actually really nice that they added a difference between the weight and the curviness. It makes it a little bit easier to adjust the character and the size of the legs. We also have a lot of different hairstyles now, which I absolutely love. But I also wish that they'd give us some longer hairstyles. They had just have like a difference between short, medium, and long. And then we have a lot of shorter variations as well. I think I'm just gonna go with the braided ponytail. It's very simple, very cute. Oh my god. Wait, can I give myself a beard? I'm a little curious on what happened to the riding pants. Do we have to buy them now? Because I saw a laptop. Maybe that's what that was about. The, the stove looks kind of the same and the house looks generally the same. They changed a few details. Like the couch looks a little different. I'm not sure if they changed like the actual furniture, but the detailing looks different. I like how the door still like opens and closes on the people. Hello, ponies. How are you guys? Let's go and see the horses and see what they look like now. Wait, are there more horses in the barn or... This whole place looks different. Oh, that's the indoor arena. Okay, that's not a barn. I think all of the horses are outside in their little pastures over here. Just here for my mid-morning jog. Oh wait, there's a bigger pasture over here. Okay. I love how the horses now move around. Before they didn't move, so they're kind of just like robots in a way. Let's do... Let's do the purple. Ooh, we get a bow. That is very cool. Okay, so when I put the bow in the inventory and then take it off, the bridle like disappears from the horse. That's a little interesting. Where are the reins though? Oh, okay, they just appear. Let's go ahead and walk over to the outdoor arena and use that. Where was the outdoor arena? It wasn't over here. Yeah, it was. Okay. Let's go ahead and hop off the horse. How... How do I do that? Ugh. Oh my gosh, it's so far behind me. Can I can it like walk up beside me? This looks like it would be the perfect like horror movie cover. He's behind you. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm done. The thing I'm confused about is in like the first gameplay, I remember the horses would stay up beside the player and now they're not. So I wonder if they're gonna be adding that back in or if that's kind of what we're expecting with that. Ooh, edit course. That is so cool. How do I switch? 
direction. Use the little scrolly part on your mouse to control the direction. Ooh, you can change the height and everything. Y'all, they're doing things with this game. You know, she looks like she could be named Tulip. That's what she looks like. It's really difficult going from Minecraft to this game because the turning is so stiff while in Minecraft the turning's really sharp unless you have like cinematic mode on. It's really easy to turn in Minecraft versus this game you actually have to like give yourself room. Oh my god! Well, nailed it. <laughs> These aren't trot poles so I, I didn't jump, that was my bad. So we're gonna do it one more time. Are you sure you're okay? I don't think I'm okay. Good job, Tulip. We're gonna go and edit this really quick. I'm going to put them further apart. It's very difficult to jump them when they're that close together, which was of course my bad. I don't know why I expected the horse to be able to jump that quick. Maybe just like even like a trot jump, but still the horse's jump animation is kind of a longer jump animation. We'll get it someday, we'll get it someday. Hold on, let's try that one more time. Oh my gosh, good job. Okay, so it works with extended trot. The camera mechanics for this game are really difficult to learn. Oopsies, my bad. Oh, rest in peace. Tulip flung that thing. I don't know if you guys can hear me clicking my keyboard, but I was literally clicking every single one of the keys on the keyboard because I was trying to figure out how to change the point of view. It is F3, and I just now figured that out. I'm not sure why it's not on the controls list. I looked multiple times, but um, yeah, that was a journey. Now I can see the pretty writing from first person. We looked at the course editor, we did some jumping. We're gonna go ahead and bring the horse into the barn and do some basic care and everything. And then we're gonna go look at the other horses as well. I wanna take one of the horses out on a little bit of a trail ride and see, because this game, I don't know if you guys can see the graphics already. I have my graphics on the top graphics, so I'm not really sure how to look for everyone else, but this game has such beautiful graphics already. Wow, Tulip, that was a noise. All right, we're gonna bring you in here, Tulip. Enjoy. Okay, I pressed brush horse and it like, it's glitched. I love how graceful the brushing is. Oh, I did not mean to press that. I love the noises. It's like horse care ASMR. Oh, you can like pick each one of the hooves. It's not just one hoof. Because I feel like on other games, it always automates to one hoof. Let's try giving her some. Kiss me. That was beautiful. Thank you for that. Right in my face too. I'm going to go ahead and give her an apple. I'm not sure on the care because I know the last video that I did with this game, I was a little confused because I thought, can we care for the horse? But... I don't think we can do that just yet. And if we can, I don't really know how. I'm gonna go look around a little bit because I see we have some new areas and we're gonna see what we have here. This looks to be the tack room. Doesn't look like there's any feed in here. So I think this one's gonna be the feed room. Yep, I called it. Uh, we have some different things. Is that a loaf of bread? Did someone leave their, their loaf of bread? Can I take it? How do I stop running? Oh, it's control, okay. I was just running around, POV, bread. I don't think there's any interactables in here and if there is, I can't see any, but there is a light switch. That looks so peaceful. Okay, we're gonna turn the light switch off because it's respectful. Oh, did I just close the door or did it do that on its own? Is this place haunted? Do we have a haunted barn? 
I think I just accidentally closed the door and turned the light switch off at the same time. Okay, we have the attic again, and I believe this was in the last demo play too that I played. A lot of stuff is coming back to me now. Tulip is in there, and we're gonna go head over and look at the other horses. It looks like we got a little bit of a rain downpour seen by the puddles on the ground. So we're gonna go take the other horses or one of them out to the trails. I believe this is a Palomino. This horse looks like a Leo. I don't know how to explain it. I just, it just looks like a Leo. So that's what I'm gonna name it. Oh, I just went over a stump. Oh my gosh, look at that view. Are those mountains back there? Wait, how far back can we go? Because is that water over there? That looks beautiful. We're gonna go take a look. Oh my gosh, look at how clear the water looks. This looks heavenly. Can I swim? It's not deep enough for us to even have to swim. Imagine if I had just like died. That was the game. You wanna go walking through the water? Horse and water ASMR. <gasps> I think I reached the end of the world. Let's go ahead and continue on the trail a little bit and look over here. I don't know if we looked over there. It looks like there's more over there. The calf muscles this girl must have. She is standing up on the horse like she has stirrups, but she doesn't. She's clenching her legs. It looks kind of like swampy. I don't know how to explain it. It just looks like very spruce forest set up, you know, with the, the mossy grass. But this forest goes pretty far back. I wasn't expecting the forest to go this far back. Can I jump over the pasture fence? He tried it. <laughs> I also love the half pass animations. They look so well done, so collected, especially for how far their animations and their oh, tree, especially for how far their animations have come in their coats and just the whole gradual change of the horses. This game has had such a makeover since I last played it and I am in love with it. So we're gonna go put uh, Leo in the pasture. Okay, how do I, oh, I forgot. How to, I forgot how to slow down my horse and I can't open anything while I'm on the horse. So we're gonna have to do it this way. Come here, Leo. We're gonna go and look at the other two horses cause I wanna see the coats. This one is the black horse. This one has a roach mane. Ooh, I like this one's mane. <gasps> when it turns from this angle, it kind of looks like a, a really buff horse. Okay, we're gonna leave you in here. Um, I'm not really sure what I'm gonna name that horse, and I have no idea what I'm gonna name the other horse, but we're gonna go see them anyways. Oh, it's on the other side. My bad, my bad. Oh my gosh, you have a little spot on your butt. That is so cute. This one looks like a this one looks like a Betsy or like a Betty. Like, oh, this is my horse. This is this is Big Betty. Oh. Well, I'm trying to get you out of the fence. Hold on, hold on. Don't don't move. Betsy, Betty, whatever I'm naming you, you almost you almost got yourself stuck. We're gonna go and bring whatever I name this horse. We're gonna go and look at the indoor arena. Can I set up jumps here? Halt, Betsy, give me a second, girl. Let me go look at this. Can we set up courses in here too? <gasps> are you kidding me wait wait a second <gasps> i'm embarrassed right now i am embarrassed because i could have clicked these little tabs and found more obstacles and like different arena stuff I'm guessing this is for the archery which i will be trying in another video but okay well you know what i learned in this lesson to look at all of the different tabs because that's a little embarrassing. We're gonna go bring Betsy, Betty, Bessie, whatever I'm naming her. That should be her full name, Betsy, Bessie, Betty. I'm just gonna walk you into the stall at this point, girlfriend, cause I don't know what else to do. This is why you guys don't ride horses into stalls. Cause if I was in real life and I was riding my horse in the stall, I would have been clipped by that door. But that's what I'm saying. You agree with me, Tulip, don't you? I'm not sure if it's in this demo or the last one. I think somebody said there was like a forest course. So if you guys know anything that I missed or that you guys want me to check out in another video, you guys can definitely let me know because I've been exploring this entire map almost. That was really fun and I'm happy I could also give to their Patreon and continue giving to it because I'm really excited for this game. I'm excited that they're letting us 
play the game before it's released and kind of test it out and everything. This game is still being worked on. So this isn't like a review. It's just me playing the game and just having fun. And it was really fun actually. So I'm really excited to see the progression of this game. I'm really excited to see what you guys think or if you guys have already played it, what you think already of the game. If you guys have any like hidden tricks or something for me to do, or if you saw that I missed something, or if you're like, hey, I found this out and I want Peachy to know, feel free to comment. I'd love to start a conversation with you guys and just see some debate topics for the game. Before we head out, I'm gonna give a quick shout out to some different comments that I saw the last couple of days that I really liked and I appreciated. And also a big shout out to my Royal Peach members. Thank you to everyone who has been supporting me recently. It has been so sweet to see everyone and meet new faces and also just stream different games. For those who made it to the end of this video and are newer to my channel, I do stream every Sunday, Wednesday, Wednesday and Friday. So if you guys don't just want to watch videos, you want to watch streams as well, I do do that. So I will definitely see you guys in a stream. I hope you all have an amazing rest of your day. Stay healthy and safe and hydrated and I will see you in the next video or stream. Oh, she's on a mission. She's running. <laughs>